Hi, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ron Doyle on uh, Maryland's Eastern Shore. A hot July the 1st. Happy July um, of 2021. I've got a little uh, helping hint for you all. Uh, doing uh, layouts in a bedroom uh, of a 1,350 square foot house. Uh, did the layout really, really fast and decided to change a few things on my layout to uh, make it so that I'm reducing my crawl pulls. So now my pulls are going to be up and overhead. First layout I did, uh, you know, going through real fast, trying to get the boxes on, nailed on, all of them nailed on within, you know, like a three hour span. Um, it's practical, uh, but sometimes you'll find yourself put in a box where you will put a location such as underneath of this window right here now that you have to do an underneath pull or you're drilling through a lot of laminations which is not easy and you have a, a corner that's not open it's a boxed in corner so uh, I changed my layout from I was going to place it underneath the center of this window now we're putting it over to the side reduces my underneath pulls but uh, I want to show you all how I remove a Carlon plastic nail on box it's a 20 point 20 point three cubic inch and uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of times that these boxes are removed they're removed by someone other than myself um, the framers the, the plumbers uh, a lot of these tubs that you see behind me are installed by the plumber so the plumber has to bring them in uh, to the front door and get them in place well the carpenters frame this whole entire wall up and a lot of times that they'll take out these studs and insert this tub uh, and sometimes they'll take my box off doing so or they'll tear it up um, and I haven't seen I haven't seen anybody uh, remove these the way that I do uh, to save on damage yes they're not that expensive but uh, if you can take them off and use them over um, why not they're less than a dollar but a dollar saved is a dollar earned in my book so I'm going to show you a quick uh, demo of how you remove these now I'm using a straight claw hammer it's not a hook claw but it's straight uh, this is a Harbor Freight cheapy you can use uh, any uh, you know straight claw hammer I just prefer the uh, smooth sides so you can side beat, beat nails and staples in. Um, but uh, here's a little demo. And I don't have a camera, guys, so I'm going to put you on the floor and show you. But you basically put the hammer in between the top edge of the box. This is the strongest part of the box. And in between, I'm sorry, in between the box and the stud. So you're going to put this in between there. And you're going to cam until you see it move and you're going to put it on the bottom and you're going to cam the bottom out as soon as you get a certain portion go back to the top and the idea is not to tear the plastic up but to keep the nails straight so I got it out and what I do is I place this box up to the stud these nails right back out. now looking at this there is no damage to the ears that hold the nail there's no damage to the box it's not stressed in any fashion on neither side it's like new no damage now you can use it over so I'll take my cheater stick, which is, uh, we got two different heights. It's got 18 inch to the, 18 inches to the top on this side I'm holding, and 16 inches to the top on the opposite side, depending on what side you want. It's made out of half inch plywood, so it gives you the uh, representation of half inch sheetrock. And basically, it's, uh, it's a pretty simple stick. We'll put you down on the floor. You put the cheater stick up to your your stud. You place your box on top of it. 
like so. Flush it up with the cheater stick. Set your nails. And then drive them home. Now what this cheater stick will allow happen is the plumbers have already put a nail plate on me. And this is going to make the sheetrock out a little further. Approximately a sixteenth of an inch. Well, me placing this cheater stick on the top of it is going to give you a nice flush line. So when you put your sheetrock on, your box is going to be flush with the surface, which is code compliant. Now if it is off just a slight bit like it is right at the bottom, you can hit the bottom corner in and get her back flush as long as it's no, no, more, than a, no more than a sixteenth. The idea is to beat these in and uh, set them in place and not stress the nails or the ears that, that are held um, you know in conjunction with the nail but uh, you know I hope this video was helpful to you all uh, if you uh, like please uh, give me thumbs up subscribe if you got a better way of um, taking these boxes off and doing relocation without tearing the box up I would love to see a video shoot a video put it on uh, put it online this is going to be helpful for everyone, uh, mostly the electrician and the homeowner. If he's got to re relocate his boxes uh, prior to pulling wire, of course. Uh, but if you like, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, you all have a wonderful and blessed day.